What's up everybody, Cole Van Hoff here with another Alliance Wake test drive. This time we've got the 2022 28 Surf by Chaparral Boats. Okay, so first impressions, this is a big boat. It's 28 feet long, eight feet, six inches wide, and it's yacht certified. So you can fit as many people as you want in here and not worried about being cramped up. The other thing is the interior is really awesome. This is the black edition, so you're definitely getting the best of the best as far as options go for this Chaparral boat. This is a big boat, which means it comes with a lot of big features. We're gonna start in the back here on this platform. This thing is electric. It drops down for easy access to the water. Look at this thing. I just stepped down, I'm in the water. The lounge section at the back of the boat is pretty sweet. All you gotta do, grab this puppy, pull her down, and now you're lounging. Climb up here, all the room in the world, hang out, get a tan. I really like it. I'm 6'2", so if that gives you a little perspective on size, it's got plenty. Good to go. Now as we make our way further up the boat, let's get to the engine. You know, a lot of these guys wanna know what's popping under the hood. Ooh, yes sir, we got that 430 V8 Volvo Penta 4 drive. With this boat being tailored for water sports enthusiasts, you might think it's a little odd to have a 4 drive engine in here, but I surfed behind it and it did everything that an inboard motor could do and more. I also think it's a bit easier to drive, and especially with that 430 horsepower, you're gonna have no problem pulling anybody or anything. Now let's jump over to something that's really important to me, which is what's being put out behind these boats. The wake behind this boat wasn't bad by any means, but in my opinion, it fell a little bit short compared to wakeboard specific boats. However, it still provided a nice wake for any beginner to intermediate rider. And to be fair, this was a boat designed for surfing. Like I said, this boat had surfing in mind and it's certainly where it performed its best. Between the wave's height, length, push, it all blew me away during my first set. Not to mention this boat comes standard with the Malibu Surfgate as well, which not only only kept the wave clean, but it made it easy for me to switch from left to right while surfing. In my mind, this boat has redefined what a four drive can be. It's easy enough to drive that anyone can hop in the helm, but the wave remains uncompromised. Speaking of how easy it is to drive this boat, the helm makes it even easier. I've got a nice big comfy chair here, but I've also got the Simrad dual screen system, which is exclusive to Chaparral this year. The Simrad dual screen system is pretty sweet. I've got my instruments over here, my nav, whatever I want. But then over here, I like to set up my surf system, right? I've got the surf gates on the back so we can go left or right while we're riding at any point. I've got speed control, ballast control, pretty much anything you need to get that wave dialed for you. The rest of this dash has a lot of buttons that give you easy access to everything else you need. I've got nav lights, the anchor, the bilge, the horn, but I've also got a button over here that controls the electric tower to bring it up and down if you have a situation where you need to go under a bridge or store it. The hardtop Bimini is a little bit of a pricey option, but a really sweet option. This hardtop features glass sunroof panels along with a electric folding tower, which both look great and work great. But the only downside is that the Bimini doesn't have any options for board racks. But like I said, this is an option. You can go with the other Bimini and you can have all the board rack space you want. An option that comes with this boat that typically doesn't come with any other water sports boat is a bathroom. You can go in here, do your business, wash your hands, and then you're back to the party. Just like the captain's chair, you've got the passenger's chairs right next to you. It's the same exact thing. It rotates, moves back and forward. Pretty sweet. Continuing to the front of the boat, we've got some more seating options. Uh, we also got a nice little sweet armrest up here so you can sit up here and enjoy the view. The big thing everyone's concerned about is storage. Everyone's got a lot of stuff and a lot of people on the boat, but you need somewhere to put it. This boat has options. We've got a nice big chest in here. You can throw whatever you want. And then I've also got a cooler over here. Got you some water. We've also got storage underneath here. Pop this hatch. Right now I've got my wakeboard in there. But something to consider with the storage space is that once you fill up the ballast, there won't be any more room to store things underneath. Finish off the storage. We've got a little bit in the front. These two seats pop open and they are on hinges so they don't just flop everywhere. But that's about it for the storage. So 
So that about does it for this 2022 Chaparral Boats 28 Surf. I had a good time behind this boat, surfing, lounging, cruising around. Um, if you guys have more questions about this boat or want a little more detail, maybe head over to chaparralboats.com and they'll hook you guys up. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to not miss out on any more reviews coming up.